It's one of the more difficult things that a, a coach of any Olympic team needs to do. Here we go! But it's a thousand times tougher for somebody sitting on the other side. We have to identify our Olympic roster. This was the first time ever that the Olympic roster was selected during a tournament. If you're on it or not, you're staying and you're waking up the next morning and you're training and you're swallowing your pride and you just charge forward for the sake of the team and that's hard. It was strange for people who made it that couldn't really celebrate it because their best friend didn't make it and you wanted to be there for her. There's so much connection to this program, whether you're on the team or you're not. I can't stress enough like how close this group is. I don't think there's a team that could have handled it better than us. I did not expect to be chosen for the Olympic roster. It really feels very special. Really emotional. Still unreal. I know that I'm not just going and representing USA Volleyball. I'm representing young black girls trying to, I guess, make a life for themselves in this sport. And the flag on your chest and know that the whole world is watching. Kind of you made it to the pinnacle of your sport. It doesn't happen often, and if at all, yeah, you just try to soak in those moments and be as present as possible. That's it, USA, lots of inside. It doesn't feel like a normal team. It feels really special, and I think that says something about what we're gonna do and what's to come for us. We're playing to win. We're hungry to stand at the top of that podium. Right here, here we go. Anything other than gold, it's not enough. Quite frankly, it's not enough. All of us are ready to do whatever that takes. It's not just about talent. I think it will take more than that. Just go for 100%. Like, have no regrets is more the thing. I think we feel the potential inside of us, and that's really exciting. We're close enough where we can taste it, but we got to close the deal.